How about a nice beer review tonight and a little bit of a chat? Hey guys, so decided to do a little bit of a review tonight along with a uh, little bit of a chat, see what you guys are up to. And also, I'm going to do an unboxing, which is going to be the latest thing I just added to the, uh, the store. So tonight, I'm actually going to take a look at, as I turn down the volume in my headset, one from Abomination Brewing Company. It is their bedtime stories. Get on this side over here as well. So hard working with more than one hand, but the bedtime stories, as you can see there, kind of an interesting looking can. Got the Crypt Keeper telling a story to the creature in the bed. So something definitely a little bit different. And this one is an Imperial Milk Stout brewed with graham crackers, marshmallows, vanilla, and chocolate added. So kind of giving a nice s'mores type feel, so to speak. Cheers, Alan. What's going on, buddy? My friend. Congrats to you. Great success on the channel. Blowing up there. Some great things happening. Going to take a look at this one out of Massachusetts. It is the Bedtime Stories. And it comes from Abomination Brewing, who is actually a uh, brewed and canned by Dorchester Brewing in Massachusetts, distributed by 12%. So uh, they might be a gypsy brewery up there in the Massachusetts area. I'd have to ask uh, Craft Beer Pours or Keep Sipping since they're both in that region. But 9.3% um, ABV. Can is kind of neat with the little creatures on there, the Crypt Keeper there, as I mentioned, reading the story to the creature in the bed. And doesn't have the uh, the date on here that, of course, I always like to have. I like to have a date on my stuff. So has a little bit of a, of a code, but doesn't really have the date. So I wish it did have the date there. And all I can say is really, <laughs> come on, man. I mean, come on, man. Get the dates on your stuff, my friends. You got to put the dates on your information. So that being said, I'm going to crack this open. Hey, Erie, cheers to you. I'm doing great. Hopefully you are this evening as well. Always great to have the power couple in the house. Alan and Erie, the new Jay-Z and Beyonce blowing up. <laughs> and so this one is going to be kind of interesting. I can't remember... If I picked this up, or is this one? If this was one that was given to me, um, I had some of the beers as I did before when I hurt my wrist that people gave to me from work, and I, this might have been one of them. So, head itself dissipates rather quickly. Came out with the fingers already down to a quarter finger, so not hanging around. Nice dark color on the stout as well. Light behind it, get a little bit of a brownish tint at the bottom, and like that, the head is gone already. So, did not hang around at all. You get a nice feel of coffee in the aroma, a nice feel of chocolate in the aroma. You really pick up the malts rather easily coming out. A little bit of a vanilla type feel. I'm just kind of adjusting my volume a little bit here on the uh, the system. It's got a little bit of a sweetness in there too from the dark malts and everything. But uh, as I did that video about the Porter Stout, you really have that coffee feel coming by from the uh, roasted um, kind of malt they use here. As far as the taste. Alice <laughs> says that on my ass off. I think she beat Jay Z somehow and she said, damn right I would. <laughs> Nobody said you had to agree. <laughs> She'd be calling the shot. You know what? Beyonce probably calls the shots between her and Jay-Z for the most part. So, Erie can be Beyonce and still call the shots. Nice roastiness, toastiness to the aroma. You do pick that up a little bit here in the taste. 
what's happening Todd cheers my friend it does have a thinness to it but it goes down rather easily for a 9.3 ABV pretty light in the body and I say light probably closer to a more of a medium body but I would expect it to have a little bit of a bigger side to it in the body than it actually does so sits on the palate nicely that thinness does create a little bit of a watery type effect but the roastiness is hanging around nicely there in the mouth you're getting a nice aftertaste with it like I said on the back end going down it goes down rather easily You get a little bit of a marshmallow type feel in the taste. A slight bit of kind of that gram. It's got a little bit of a s'mores feel, but I've had better with some other ones out there than what I'm getting in this one. And it's not to say this one is really bad in what it's doing. It's just, it doesn't come through as fully for me, but you do get the chocolate, you do get the gram, you do get the marshmallow. Those type of things you expect to actually have. Now it'll be interesting because I have a Mad Tree beer to also do a review on. That's a s'more beer. Um, so I'd like to see how that one's gonna play out. But I will say, can is empty. This one is going down rather easily. And if you like a stout that has that nice roasty type feel to it, definitely one to pick up. A little bit, a little bit more body a little bit more thickness i'd like it a little bit more but even as it is thinner as it is right now i would actually say for me this one is a uh my own personal rating probably like a four out of five um i'd drink it again i probably wouldn't hunt down to pick it up but i'm not disappointed with it by any means and it does deliver pretty solid so again for me it's more the thinness that comes into play catch up a little bit here on the comments because you guys are kicking it off real quick and cheers cutie glad to have you in as always alan says got to date it need to know if it's fresh so we can stay aware <laughs> oh you're talking about the beer i thought you were talking about something else <laughs> yeah you got to be able to date your stuff so we know what we're actually getting and if you don't date your stuff all bets are off i mean some people don't like to review beers if there's no date on it but you know what i say review it because they put it out there and it's on them if something's not good uh what is it so and he said i don't need permission <laughs> and alice says what's up to todd um todd you know jay-z is scared of her <laughs> todd said alan <laughs> And it was up the electric beard. And I bet he is. He's a smart man. And now as I get the feeling our wives would get along. I I think I think they would definitely get along between uh, uh, Erie or Erica and uh, Shannon. Um, Alan says I need the s'mores beer. <laughs> she gets along with everyone. Um, yeah, Shannon does. Shannon is really a personality person so I can see her getting along with just about everyone except if somebody's too much of an ass and she won't want to deal with them probably um that was a uh, Todd I don't think we'll be able to talk much so nope backseat there right hey what's happening Ashley Sexton in the house cheers good to see you my friend it's been a little bit of time welcome Ashley Sexton of course has his channel where he does different things on beer from home brewing to reviewing some beers as well so make sure you check out ashley's channel uh todd says lol he's used to it so he's used to the backseat which on the beer flow show you can kind of see how comfortable todd actually is when shannon gets on so which i still want to get on a show with erie at some point so i didn't make it last night because we were watching watchmen now that walking dead is over and uh the watchmen is getting better and better um, that I'm really enjoying that show. It's got some great twists, great storylines to it. And it's got like, I think two more weeks left on this first season, but it's been pretty awesome. What's up, Swami? Cheers. Swami's uh, up there in Montreal. Swami does a lot of, a lot of 
the whiskey stuff. So make sure you check him out for the whiskey review things that he has going on. Always good stuff happening on his channel. And Alan says cheers to him as well. And I'm going to go ahead and open this box while I'm here as well. So I just got this today. I was supposed to get this the other day. And I was going to do a joint unboxing when I um, unveiled the uh, beer stein. So now this is the next thing. Uh, her words are she said she would join two streams but didn't say which two. Typical female. <laughs> You gotta watch out, Alan. She knows when you sleep there, my friend. All right. So the next thing I was looking to add here to the store, which I just got, was actually, I don't know why, but I actually wanted a nice trucker type cap. Don't know why, I've kind of liked the trucker cap lately. And so this is to get your beer on cap, which is not coming in there. So let's switch the camera over to the one with less light on it. And go this way, and you can see that. To get your beer on, little trucker cap. So I will definitely be rocking this at some point and starting to wear it out as I do more of the uh, branding with the channel. So uh, this will go nicely here. And this one, I'm actually setting it up where you can get an array of different colors. But I obviously went with the red and white for this because I'm doing the uh, the red and white lettering on it. So, came out decent enough, I mean, for what I was supposed to get there, I guess. So, there you go. Nice flexibility to the bill. So, you can bend it up and shape it. Snack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh, no. Do what you want to do to the bill there. So, looking forward to... Putting that on at some point when I go out. And it go nice with the sweatshirt and stuff. But let's see here. Let me see. Dude, <laughs> I can't help you to like Walking Dead. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But actually, I stopped watching Walking Dead for a while and I went back into it. But yeah. Um, it's like a sandwich card at this point, so I'm in it to like to, to like get number ten. So I'm, I'm I'm too deep into it to walk away right now. Uh, let me see here. Erie says she's waiting to surprise everyone. Yeah, Todd, you should get on board and watch it. It's actually I think you would like it. It's really got some great writing to it. In fact, in one of the other Facebook groups, we were just talking about how good the last episode was and. It's got a lot of different stuff happening in the different storylines. He um, said, me and the girls are going to start y'all something up. And Alan said, Rod, I'm up later. Are you going to be doing a broadcast later tonight, Alan? And then nice looking hat, got a 70s feel to it, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's kind of got a nice little 70s convoy rubber ducky type feel to it or so but uh that's kind of why i wanted that. i kind of wanted like a little bit of a throwback type style too which there's a lot of things that have uh put their stuff on trucker's hat nowadays that people are rocking so i figured go a little old school with it um thanks erie i appreciate it and thanks swami and todd and <laughs> Malt said it's horrible, but I think he's talking about The Walking Dead, which has had its moments. I'll give you that. Walking Dead stopped being good by season four. It is flipped. It's had its ups and downs. I mean, the storyline it's in right now is actually not a bad one going against the whispers. It is taking a little bit longer than it should, but they got another Walking Dead also starting next, uh, I guess, March or April. We're supposed to be, I guess, like. I don't know, Generation Y, like after they were raised as babies. So it's going to be set off in the future where they're now the kids that are grown up and they're dealing with the world as it is. So I don't know. I don't think you need three of them going because they still have the fear of the walking dead. It's becoming like law and order on AMC at this point. So I'm not going to, I don't get into the other two shows. I'm just trying to finish this one out. Plus they got the movies coming out. We're going to bring Rick back as well. So everybody kind of knows that's out there. Yeah, Watchmen is great. Um, I think people were saying how their minds were blown this past episode at the end when they found out about some of the uh, intricacies that took place and 
each episode just keeps building, keeps building. I feel like it's going to be one hell of a cliffhanger by the time it gets to the uh, end of this first half of the season. No, not tonight. The college football talk. Yeah, college football tomorrow. And then probably Evie and Ketz talk uh, and I'll talk on Wednesday night. All right, yeah. Well, make sure, if you haven't done it yet, that you monitor your hours using StreamYard or... I don't know if you went ahead and got like the next step up so that you don't get cut off at some point. I don't know how hard they're working that hard 20 hours or not, but everybody's saying it did begin already. I'm saying Silicon Valley ends next week. Yeah, that's a good one. I like Silicon Valley, so I've been watching that as well. Um, but I felt like that may have ran the gambit of what you can actually get out of that show at this point. I feel like it had to stop at some point. I was more disappointed when Ballers ended. Ballers was a great show, but you know, finished after three seasons as well. Well, the Whisper storyline is basically one of the last, so I'm sure the writers trying to figure out what to watch. Yeah. And, they, and they've done different things on the show than they did from the comic itself. You know, there were people that should have died in other parts based on the comics, and they try to keep it refreshed for people that read the comics as well as people that don't know what's going on. Uh, hey, what's happening, Gilbert? Cheers, my man. Happy Monday to you. Hopefully it was a great start to the week. Uh, this coming week, I'll be getting the next plan up. Okay, yeah. And let's see. What are you talking about, Baller? You, you, you was no player, son. You was no player. That's why you thought Baller sucked. <laughs> oh, then... Uh, Alan said cheers to Gilbert. Gilbert said cheers back as well. So, lots of good stuff. Monday was kind of a uh, a uh, busy day today at work. You just had to get after it today. And it's always tough coming back after the holiday because you're kind of in that relaxed mood and you get yourself back up. And then, you know, within a few weeks, you're back on another break with the next holiday. So, it's a little bit of a rougher time right now. I agree, Todd. You can't you can't listen to Swami. Swami don't know. <laughs> Ballers was legit. But what is everybody else? If you are sipping on anything tonight, anything else you're you're drinking at this point, relaxing back with. Gilbert and Swami, you guys drinking any whiskey right now? Or are you drinking a little beer? Alan, you got anything you're drinking right now? Shitty start and why I'm drinking and eating female on a bun. <laughs> yeah, it was a day to get back into it today. Funny, I'm actually watching some of the basketball game, Illinois and Miami. They were up by 25 at one point, and somehow Illinois came back to within one and has a chance to win it now at the end of the game. That is crazy. The crowd was literally booing Illinois earlier in this game, and they now got a chance to actually pull out the win. Oh, offensive foul. That, that leaves a mark. Uh, just some high-quality H2O. All right, Bobby Boucher. <laughs> I've actually got some of that here too. Got to stay hydrated. What's Dr. Thunder? I think I'm three seasons behind in Ballers. Well, actually, there were only three seasons in Ballers. So that would say you actually didn't start Ballers. <laughs> Welly Imperial Russian Stout Sons Classic. Oh, that sounds like a nice stout. You can never go wrong with a RIS. Hey, what's happening, Alex? Cheers, my friend. Happy Monday to you. Alex the Beer Master in the house. Another channel where you can check out some of the beer reviews as Alex works his way through the beer world, of course. Make sure you check out his channel as well. Cuffing stuff in the house. What's going on, my friend? Cheers. Good to see you. 
little barbecue action. Another good channel. Check out Cuff and Stuff Barbecue. See what's happening over there too. Some good, some good channels here. No, there's got to be at least four seasons. I thought it was only three. You've seen the first two. Let's go to the Google machine. Oh, you're wow. You're right. There was actually, I was way off five seasons. So yeah, you're three seasons behind. If you saw the first two, I thought it was only three. It was a good show. And for a lot of Hollywood stuff, rock is pretty much money now for the most part. Confirmed by Google, that's right. <laughs> Does anybody even use Bing? I think everybody goes to Google for the most part. You never hear anybody say, well, let me check that out on Bing. Let me Bing it. Everybody says, Google it. You drinking anything tonight, Alex? Anything you got going on, my friend? Stop spreading fake news, Rod. <laughs> I'm in America, man. Fake news can happen. It can happen. <laughs> Now initially, I let this beer sit out for about 20 minutes, and as it warmed up more, you also get a little bit more of a drag coming out with some of the the chocolate and the coffee. Get a little bit of a booziness there towards the end now, but at this point, it's pretty solid. No, I'm not drinking. Sorry, it's all right. You don't got to drink all the time, Alex. I mean, I was just curious if you were drinking anything. Todd's drinking some fine H2O, he said, so. Yeah, so right now, just kind of kicking back. Might end up jumping over and doing some gaming as well. Me and Todd had a good battle the other night in some baseball action. Then I got on with Modern Warfare with Eric for a little bit. Tried to school him some, teach him the ropes. You know what I'm saying? Gaming is such a release. Anybody else got any plans for this week? Anything else? Anybody happening? Are you like in one of the areas being affected by the weather? I know in the Northeast, they're getting pummeled with the snow up there. Saw some of the video footage from that. Especially up towards Maine. I don't know if we might not hear from Vanessa Kitty because uh, she's up there where they're getting nailed with a lot of snow. Yeah, tied at one game each in the series. So there we go. Appreciate you too, buddy. I was at Alex. You don't have to be a beer master to drink very often. No, in fact, being a beer master knows when you should drink and when you don't have to drink. Oh, Blake TV in the house. Cheers, brother. He says, cheers, everyone. This Christmas tree kicking my ass, homie. Damn, homie. <laughs> Thought you was the man, homie. I haven't even put up a tree here yet, so... I was going to ask the wife earlier if she wanted to put the tree up or not. But I was afraid she'd say yes, so I didn't, so I didn't ask. Uh, work, LOL. Yeah, got that all week long. Got that all week long. That J-O-B. Got to work to pay the bills. Do a bit of research for your next video. You're doing great with those videos, Alan. I mean, you're becoming a truck guru for sure.
definitely been pretty awesome. I'm actually learning more about the trucks from the videos you're doing there with the, uh, not just the cyber truck in the video you've been doing, but also some of the other trucks you've been comparing it to, so. Hey, what's happening, Brandon? Cheers. Like the sexy music. <laughs> I was just talking about you and Trish. Um, I didn't know if you guys get this up there, but this is bedtime stories. And this is actually from um, Abomination Brewing Company. It's actually brewed and canned by Dorchester Brewing Company, but they're out of Boston. So I didn't know if you saw this one before or not, but it's a uh, Imperial Stout with uh, graham crackers, marshmallow, vanilla, and chocolate added. 9.3 ABV. It's a little bit of relaxing type mu music. It's kind of kicking back, relaxing, trying to chill. Trying to bring it all down from the Monday at work, you know. Nobody really likes Mondays that much. You got a case of the Mondays. Allagas Curio tonight, Rod. It is interesting, new for new for you. Nice. I need to pick up some of the Allagas beers because um, we do get those. I was at Jungle Gems, our place here. They did have that there. Not that one for sure, but they had other Allagas beers. I know. I need to start doing some stuff with them, but there's just so many, so many to try to get in. Uh, work till Christmas and eight days off. Have a couple of scotches picked out for the week off. I was a celebration, bitches. A celebration for Eric Gilbert. Uh, nice reaction video to Craft Beer Pours. Oh, the Craft Beer Pours do a reaction video. I got to see that one. Sexy music, Todd says. Uh, Ashley Sexton says, no days off, Eric Gilbert. And you said you think you have seen it, Brandon. Okay, yeah, so I saw that was on there from Boston. Can't remember if I picked it up or it was given to me by the people here from one of the places, but uh, it's decent. A um, little thinner than I would want it to be, but still decent overall. Uh, you mean Slick Rick didn't make that beer, Uncle Ricky? <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, Luton Sexton and Shannon said, hey, I don't appreciate the smack talk, Todd. You get talk plenty. <laughs> Uh-oh, Shannon's in the house. <laughs> Close the front door. <laughs> and then Alex says, Rod J, it was nice talking to you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and night. Talk to you later, my friend. Yes, you too, Alex. Enjoy. Have a great night. Um, so you work 23 days straight, Ashley said. Um, Todd said, LOL, do I? <laughs> Question is Shannon. <laughs> yeah, Todd. You better watch out for her, Todd. He's like, he's just, here we go. <laughs> oh. It's all fun. It's all fun. Seven weeks straight, son. Have to catch up on reviews. Yeah. That's seven weeks straight with no days off, really, except maybe like the weekend, I guess. Or I don't even know if you had to work through the weekend. Give me a shout out. My oh, it is Shannon. Happy birthday, girl. Everybody say happy birthday to Shannon. It is her birthday. Did not realize that. So, Shannon, you got to come on this week so we can have a birthday video for you. <laughs> Why did Todd tell me to go? I already did that, Todd. <laughs> Hopefully Todd did some nice things for you today, Shannon, to celebrate your birthday. Rod, you got any special beers you're going to get out of the cellar this month? Um, aren't they all special? Um, I don't know. Is there one you were thinking of? Like, um, anything that you're thinking of, like, is a certain type of beer? I do need to start doing the uh, John the Baptist beers or whatever, Gene Baptist beers. John the Baptist would be the religious guy, but, um... I've got some Belgian ones down there. I've got the Guinness Bullet Bourbon. I picked that up this past week. 
Um, oh, damn, she beat you too. So you were trying to get ahead of her. You can't get ahead of Shannon Todd. You just can't do it. Only Sunday's off. Sunday's off. Life of a tire tech, son. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then Shannon said, thanks to Mr. Beer for the happy birthday. Todd says, I always do nice things. <laughs> Let me see. If I can see what's on my beer list here. Um, I tried to reach for big stouts this time of year. Um, I do have the, like I said, I have the Guinness Barrel A Stock Ale. That's the one they did with uh, Bullet Bourbon. I've got a few of those. Um, I picked up some Warlocks. I do have. I did find a chocolate cherry Yeti from Great Divide. I'm going to do that one at some point. Um, just kind of thumbing through stuff. The Big Bad Baptist beers I have. I do have the Dragon's Milk Reserved Oatmeal Cookie. I am going to do that at some point here. Um, I still got the I got the Rum Barrel Age Quad Trip in the Woods, and I got the Ginger Trip in, uh, Trip in the Woods. I got the Brow Rye St. Bernardus Christmas Ale. Um, got a couple. I got a couple. I got an oatmeal imperial. I got a triple oatmeal imperial stout and a double oatmeal imperial stout, both from Hop and Frog. Got a couple Polish beers in there. I got the uh, Evil Twin Grand Cru Kuvi, which I've had on draft and it was really good. Hmm. I mean, these are some pretty score, well scored beer. I got Untitled Arts Wisconsin Stout, I haven't drank yet. I also got Central States Coconut Nephilim. So, chances are, I probably will do something special. I still got the Dogfish Head Wood Age Bitches Brew, I haven't drank yet. Well, this can't be right. I must have not marked this off. It said I had a Daydream Layers in there from Other Half. I know I drank all my Other Half beer, so I missed crossing that one off the list. Um, let's see what else I got here. I think I still have the Bourbon Barrel Age Expedition Stout from Bell's Brewery as well. So I've got some decent ones in here to, to drink. The Brewery Tarot, I got the Quadruple Tonnier, Amigang Soothsayer, Amigang Shadow Brewer. Still got the Bourbon Barrel Age Gingerbread Imperial Stout from Moody Tongue. Damn, I got a lot of beers. I got to still cross off. Anyway, that's just a small, small amount. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff out there. I got to still drink. So I will be having some type of special beer at some point. I still got to do the Golden Drop 9000 review. I've never done that one. And I've got that here as well. Uh, let me see here. And then Shannon said, Sagittarius in the house. Had no idea you were Sagittarius. No idea, because that never comes up. <laughs> Alan said he's got Yingling, Black and Tan on his beer list till he runs out. LOL. Yeah, actually, Yingling, Black and Tan is one of the ones I'd like more from them. Um, the wife has actually been drinking the Golden Pilsner more recently. I just ended up picking up her some the other day, which I haven't done a review on. I might steal one of the Golden Pilsners away from Yingling and actually do a review on that one here. Um, got Overtime Money 2 plus bonus good year. Well, that's awesome, Gilbert. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. I think the Bay Shetty has made its way to Ontario. Definitely would pick it up for Great Divide. I've had the base and it was really good. Alan said, be right back. Got to shit talk to the wife. But she's watching too. I'll still catch you. <laughs> Hello, Alan. <laughs> hey, Vanessa. Cheers. I was just thinking you might not pop in because I think you guys are getting like snowed out up there. So, or technically snowed in, but you're getting a lot of snow up through that region. 
And the Eddie been in Ontario a few years, and Bourbon County sold out three years straight. Like Kentucky Bastard better. And we do get Kentucky Bastard here now, Gilbert. I haven't picked it up, but I did see that on the shelves uh, when I was at Jungle Gems. Really, I didn't try to even hunt down or locate much with Bourbon County. I went to one spot and figured I knew they were going to have it. And they did have it there, but they had the base version, which I really didn't want. And they were going to be selling the uh, variants like in a few hours after when I was there. And I was like, I'm not going to wait around for the variants. It's just... There's just so many beers out there. Uh, still snowing since noon on Sunday. Wow. So how many uh, how many inches did you get from this up there? Like, it looked like in some of this video footage I've seen from so many other states. Like, there's been a lot of accidents I know, and I know people couldn't get around this much. Um, I wonder if you're getting like a ton of it there as well. Uh, after that, pick it up. Kentucky bastard is great. So yeah, I made to check it out. Like I said, it's just there's so many, so many beers here. And again, that video I did a while back with Jungle Gems. By the time I get to the aisle with Canada, and I already got the cart like half full as it is, and it's like I don't want to be buying more beer because I got to keep putting them in the basement. So uh, I was trying to think because you guys are going to have it going through. I believe the next couple of days as well. Um, Vanessa with the snow coming through from what I saw coming up from the northeast of pretty much New Jersey right up to Maine. Hey, you do it in the house. Welcome, my friend. Just rain here. I don't do it. You do it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Approaching a foot right now. Okay. So, yeah, it is definitely racking up. Gilbert says, get Kentucky Bastard now. <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh, the you do it says hello to everyone there. Yeah, Kentucky Bastard is definitely a possible pickup to, uh, to check out for sure. <sighs> you know, I should at some point just do... You know, Joe, the Beer Patrol, he's good at doing his series on stuff, but I could just do, like, a series at some point of some of the Canadian beers that we get here as well and something from the U.K. or something from Japan, whatever it may be. We have so many different things from around the world. I should just do some more series like that. Just north of Massachusetts area is afoot at noon today and gaining. Yeah. Yeah, get your, uh, you gotta get out there. There'll be snow plowing. You might need a snowmobile to get around. But that is one thing I have not become a fan of in years is snow or it's just more of a mess than anything, especially for the people that uh, can't drive in it that end up causing a lot of the wrecks and accidents and stuff. And people that think they can drive in it that mess up too. It's just as you get older, snow becomes more of a mess, I think, than actually enjoyment. What was the brown beer you drank last Thursday? Oh, the brownie beer? Um, I'll have to go back and look, Shannon. Thursday was so long ago. Thursday, I was drinking the uh, Carmelicious from Platform. That is their sweet stout that they actually came out with. Um, and that's like pretty much everywhere now. They guess platform, I think. That was the salted caramel stout one. Yeah. Platform. Uh, Alice, again, it's no at some point better than having humidity for 10 and a half months out of 12. Yeah, yeah, I mean, nobody likes the high humidity for sure. Yeah, but that says, she, you know, she had lived in the Arctic for five years. It's a small amount of snow. Yeah. <laughs> Vanessa's done a lot of stuff. It's kind of like, eh, it's a foot of snow. It's a foot of snow. Nothing to worry about there. It's just a foot of snow. So, yeah, when well, you're living in the Arctic for five years, I guess it is nothing there. Small potatoes. 
I don't know if I could take living in the Arctic for five years. All that cold. That's why you say like some of the people like that live in Alaska. Alaska has like a high depression and suicide rate and all kinds of stuff. I mean, they think part of it is because of how cold it is and how that weather plays on people after points. Of course, Shannon's so jealous. She loves the snow. Not me. <laughs> I am not one for the snow. Say a nice tropical island with all the beer you can drink, and I'll be in good shape. Still a goal of mine to have a beer island. But, but I think I'm going to start bringing back some other stuff to the channel here. For a while, I was trying to do, um, well, I was trying, I was doing, I did a few of the uh, movie trailer reactions that some people seem to like, so I think I'm going to start bringing that back to the channel. Again, I'm trying to get away from doing more of just the beer review stuff because there's so many people doing beer reviews out there. I'm going to try to do some other things there. One of the guys... I did that stout porter, and one of the guys asked me about doing something for like a lager versus ale, so I want to put together a short little video about that, the difference between the two as well. Exactly 10 watching, give the thumbs up, folks. <laughs> Thanks, and thank you, Ashley, as well. <laughs> Likes and thumbs up are always appreciated. Cold, okay, we had a group of troops exposed to minus, woo wee, 109 Fahrenheit. Cold reaches a new meaning at these levels. 45 of 80 people lost body parts from that one. Ouch. Wow. That is not good. No, that's damn. I mean, if little John was here, he would be like, What? <laughs> that is not that is not good weather there. So I stay inside. We have rain today, a little bit of flurries right now, but nothing to stick is too warm for it. Our weather right now is only at 33, so not too bad out there. But they'll be back into work tomorrow. Difference between cold and freezer weather. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a difference there. And then liquid nitrogen. That was a liquid nitrogen in weather form. Yeah, if that was that cold, yeah. I mean, that was like demolition, man. You know, getting frozen together, then him chipped apart cold is super windy there today we didn't have too much wind up here but we had a little bit of cool when I went outside for a little bit earlier um, but I'm just waiting for when it gets really bad because I feel like we're going to really get hit tough at some point considering how hot it was. I'm expecting to be a really cold winter too. So we'll see how that all comes into play. We called in a C-130s from Florida that serves the Antarctic to retrieve them. The ones up there could not function. Yeah, well, yeah, with so much of that heavy cold, I'm sure. Yeah, there was a plane crash earlier today or yesterday they were talking about that somebody tried to take off in cold weather. It was one of the smaller, I forgot what you call them, but it's like, you know, those planes where they put like eight or nine people in them. And sadly, they tried to take off and it was too cold. They ended up crashing like nine family members died. And it's, I don't know why you, I mean, why you would try to take off. If the big planes aren't going anywhere, why would you think you can get up there and fly? The issue fuel heaters failed to be 
because the fuel was too cold for the vapor to increase. Oh, wow. So everybody was kind of inside, but it was too cold. It was so still cold that it happened. Wow. Yeah, I wonder how long it did take to get frostbitten at that temperature. I can imagine it wouldn't take too long. And I can't imagine being that cold. At 109 degrees Fahrenheit below. Yeah, that is that is something. Minus 60 degrees, a tomato freezes solid in under 30 seconds. Tomato is sort of consistency of flesh. Damn. So you get like a minute before No, half a minute rather, I mean. So Yeah, holy but Jesus is right on that one. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's like that. Uh, what was that one movie that came out a few years ago? Um, wasn't it the day after or something it was called when it had all the storms and stuff? The instant we had a cook at Shema Nubi in Kitchen, step outside the double sealed doors. It's just this uniform. He stepped out the double sealed doors in just his uniform. Hey, what's happening, Throttle? Why did he step outside in just his uniform? Was it something that he did like as a ritual or something? Or did you guys like a prank or something or? Stepping outside at 109 degree Fahrenheit below zero in anything does not seem to be a great idea. His he froze solid in two minutes during the ongoing blizzard at Shimmy Island. Many days he just stayed inside the main buildings. Wow. So he ended up freezing and dying, then I take it? What are you drinking on tonight, Throttle? Are you drinking anything? Are you kicking back, relaxing? As he was hot from kitchen, he wanted to smoke. No one was watching him. He did not remember his briefs. Whew. Tell you what, I mean, I used, I smoked way back in the day. Gave that up back in 2000. There was no way I would ever go out to smoke in that kind of weather. No way at all. Yeah, he was dead. Wow. All because of a cigarette. Wow. I can't imagine. Froze solid. That's where we ought to take all the terrorists we capture, put them in extreme cold, and feed them the world's hottest chocolate. We'd have a, a location of every cell. <laughs> Oh, the weather on the island blows horizontal at greater than 100 miles per hour. Wow. That is pretty interesting. <sighs> well, but to, but to Beer's point, to Alan, you might get more answers out of him if you did put him there rather than somewhere in Cuba, right? Where it's a little bit warmer weather. <laughs> so we're not sending you to Cuba. We're going to send you actually to the Antarctica. They might start giving up people. Buildings are double walls. Actually, in the space between them, you see the pressure forcing the weather through the cinder box. Give up smoking six years ago. Well, other than cigars. 
Yeah, cigar here and there, right? So. There's whiskey responding. Throttle was doing something to look like. Put them in Guantanamo where it's just humid. That's a vacation. <laughs> well, for the ones that kind of grew up in the desert, going to a humid area in Cuba, not sure they're really missing that much of a difference in some way. So it's kind of like they can probably handle the heat a lot easier than they would be the cold. Which would be an interesting place to actually put a supermax, right? Because we have supermaxes in the country. Put a supermax in like Antarctic somewhere. Where if you did break out, there's no way you're going to make it anywhere because it's too cold to try to do so. Multitasking. I know that quite well, my friend. Transfer from Barksdale Air Force Base in Shreveport to Elmador Air Force October 82 was in the hundreds. Got off and there was a storm, but already four feet on the ground. Wow. I'm sure the cells are air conditioned because heaven forbid <laughs> we, we, we mean after they decapitate us. <laughs> I don't know. Think about some of the. Uh, some of the jails in the south where they didn't have to do hard labor or isn't like in Arizona where they have the 10 cities for some of the prisons as well that being in a tent in Arizona in the middle of summer is not where anybody I'm sure wants to be Yeah, but tomorrow night on the Eclectic Beer Show, we'll be talking about college football. So if you guys haven't checked out Alan's channel yet, make sure you check him out as well. We'll do that at 9 o'clock Eastern tomorrow. Guantanamo was one of our poor calls in the Coast Guard. I had two drunk Marines needing to ride back to the Camp X-Ray, which is where they kept all the terrorists. And I was like, um... <laughs> Y'all find a Navy Liberty van. Y'all too drunk to like, give me directions. <laughs> and have Cuban beer, is what Throttle says. <laughs> hey, what's happening, Trish? Cheers. Keep sipping in the house. Just talking to Brandon a little bit ago on here. Hopefully you guys are doing okay with the snow coming your guys' way up there in the Boston area. I drank a beer from up around your way. The bedtime stories from Abomination Brewing Company. Decent beer. So full of P-Mail right now about to pass out. I don't even know what P-Mail is, but I've always heard of P-Mail. I just don't know what it is. I have to go back to the Google machine to find out. No Cuban beer at throttle. <laughs> then Vanessa, drunken military members. Yeah, beer today, and I'm sure they'll have one tomorrow. It's in vacation. Lucky, lucky me. Well, everything. Hopefully, they kept mom on her toes that night. They had you uh, making sure to pay attention to what they were doing. I still say it was probably Brandon that was in there donking. <laughs> oh, Tris, I knew you were about to go crazy. <laughs> yeah, Vanessa, she's just north of you, and she said about a foot there now, and it's still going. I know you guys are getting lined up as well for a lot of that snow. Um, yeah, it all left hard. I survived, right? 
Always do. Always do. <laughs> Throttle says, Canadians know female bacon as an iconic national breakfast food, but the back bacon's backstory is even richer than its flavor. And I was at anyone pull the You Can't See Me on Saturday? What was the You Can't See Me on Saturday? The only thing I know about You Can't See Me is like the John Cena line. Uh, Todd, that is what the beer is for, Trish. <laughs> Trish had to stay alert, though. She couldn't get involved drinking too much beer. <laughs> and uh, the real Canadian bacon is mostly a Toronto thing, St. Lawrence Market. I am... At Muddle Top Edge of Connecticut, Boston is 120 northeast of me. Why did I think you were above Boston? Hmm. Like the John Cena censor, censor kids like wrestling. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so if any of the kids that said that to Trish or whatever about you can't see me, gotcha. Alan, is that where you pretend a person disappeared? That Todd said. <laughs> So like she, had, she did have her hands full a little bit there. When they uh, when they broke the basket off the door, Trish was not happy about that. <laughs> Female bacon derives from the historic practice of rolling the cured and trimmed boneless loin in dried and ground yellow peas to extend shelf life. Since the end of World War I, it has been rolled in ground yellow cornmeal. Well, if it's got bacon in it, I'm pretty much so down with it. Hey, kid, we got about 10 and another 10 tonight, probably. We'll see. Can't complain. It's December and first snow. Well, hopefully you got enough beer in the house, Trish, if you're getting all that snow. Got to be prepared. Oh. Yeah, kid, we got about ten. Uh, yes, I went to I went to I went to sub base in Groton, Connecticut today, but they were getting rain. Oh, picked up some paps. What? You picked up paps? But for the snow that you guys are getting, you should have got the paps ninety nine pack. That would have been a good day to get the ninety nine pack. <laughs> That's what Alan had asked about too. <laughs> Craft beer has been a bit heavy for me lately, so switched it up. Gotcha. Now Todd's asking, did you get the 99 pack as well? <laughs> 99 pack would have been the way to go. Oh. Since you just got here, Trish, as well, this is the, uh, the new trucker hat that I actually got. That I just put in there as well. It's new. Throwing it back old school with the little trucker type style. Why do I feel like blowing up in the elevator? I don't know, Throttle. You're the only one that always feels like you're in the elevator. The elevator we have at work is always playing like... I don't know. I don't know what station we got it on, but it's always something different. It could be playing um, Elton John one time. The other time you get in, it'll be playing Queen. Another time you'll get in, it'll have like freaking Herbie Hancock on or something. So... I went to buy it just for the photo op. <laughs> oh. and the female is not actually bacon, just cured loin. Okay. Well, it's pork, though. I like pork, so he needs you to model again, Trish. I can always use Trish as a model there. <laughs> if you could fit in a car, that 99 pack is long. They definitely marked it up, though, for the photo uh, I think the 99 pack comes out to 160 for the regular 60 cents. Yeah, sweet hat. Thank you. Yeah, the 99 pack is also, when we first looked at it, it had a price that wasn't a case. The price on it, I think, is like $60 or something now. I think some article we had looked at before was like 100 over 100 for it. But at 60 you're getting some cheap beer at a cheap price for sure. <laughs> So, I mean, 
I wouldn't. I mean, I, I, you just have to have a good amount of people around to get the 99 package. You're not going to sell her paps. So, if you're having a bunch of people over, a 99 pack is a good thing to do. We are in the holiday season, so if you have holiday drinkers over, you can actually get that. Yeah, you read it was 175. That's what I read at 1.2, but then I saw in an article, I think most places, it was like 69. So, I don't know why I was saying 175 if that was actually here or somewhere else, but it seems to be less than that. Let me see if I see it on here. Yeah, so reportedly it says the price was at $59.99 for the uh, some weekend. They actually had a bottle of Utopia. Yeah. Yes, yeah, about 60 cents a can. That's about right for a Paps. Uh, sweet and salty cure, a quick flat top fry and a Kaiser and good to go. We'll make a few when you get back to Toronto. So <laughs> we'll get back to Toronto way. I'd like to get back up to Toronto at some point. It's been years since I've been up there, but Toronto was a, a fun little area. It's the only place I've been to in Canada. We went there for vacation one year. It's a pretty nice city. I mean, not just the city itself, which is pretty decent, but... The people and everything up there were pretty cool and pretty laid back from the people I met when I was there. Swami says, I think music is incredible. Rod, you're not monetized yet. You can play real music, bro. Nah, I like playing this music. It relaxes. I enjoy the, the sounds from the channel when I use this music. Ah, and it is real music. <laughs> And the throttle said, Swami, like you know music. <laughs> yeah. Plus, whenever I do use other music already out there, it's, you always get the copyright claims anyway, but still. At a point when it is back back to being monetized, so I can pick up the rest of the money I've got there. I don't have to worry about those videos anyway. But I think I may go ahead and wind this baby down so I can go grab another beer. Gonna kick back and I think I'm gonna mic jump over to the gaming channel for a bit, get a few games in as well. Yeah, Toronto's all right, Montreal is better. I'd like to see Montreal at some point too, but uh, I knew music like you know solid the draft. <laughs> Oshawa was better than both holes. <laughs> Which Canadian area is better? <laughs> That's funny. But cheers all. Yeah, you have a good night as well, Todd. I'm going to go ahead and kick back, relax for a little bit. Um, thanks for everybody that tuned in. And uh, hopefully everybody has a good night. Everybody stays warm. Trish, Brandon, Vanessa, where you guys are up there in that snowstorm, and anyone else that might be catching some of that. And uh, probably do a video a little bit early tomorrow night, but then be over on Allen's, the Eclectic Beard at 9 o'clock for the regular college football talk. So any college football fans, make sure you check in there, the Eclectic Beard. And appreciate everybody that came out tonight. And we'll look forward to catching up with you guys soon here. And I uh, appreciate that, Blake and Blake TV. If you haven't been on Blake's channel, make sure you check Blake out as well. He will also be on the College Football Talk tomorrow when we're over on the Eclectic Beard. And um, they'll actually be doing a show. I think you're doing it tomorrow still, Alan, the BNA show at 1 o'clock on the Eclectic Beard channel. So that is Blake and Alan actually getting together for that too. 
Um, let me see here. And you have a good one as well. I will catch up with you guys soon. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks again for everybody tuning in. Look forward to seeing you next time. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Oh, you didn't know? Your ass better come.